Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying eight candy bars. <laughs> Eight candy bars from House of Dorchester. Uh, let's see, it says House of Dorchester Fine Chocolate Hand Finished Artisan Chocolate Bars. These are made in the United Kingdom. This package was $19.99 at Home Goods. That is a really good price for eight candy bars from all the way from the UK. So the flavors are, you have a pumpkin spice, orange and cranberry, caramelized biscuit, creme brulee, honeycomb, raspberry and coconut, salted praline, and cookies <coughs> and cream. And let's see, there's a little a piece of tape. Piece of tape. Nope. Okay, so you open them like this would make such a good gift um, to give to somebody if you can get it open. Oh. <laughs> okay. It goes like this. Oh, I was making it much more difficult than it needed to be. If it just pulls out real easy. Okay. All right. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to slide them off just yes. like this. Okay. And how many are Okay, so now we have, we, you can match the box up uh, with the flavor on the inside if you want to keep them straight. So the first one we're going to be trying is the cookies and cream bar. I like the, it like, looks like almost Legos or something. On the it other does. Side. I've never but seen candy that. bars that are, uh, that have that. Like uh, a, that texture. Um, these, uh, the packages, I do have to say, you do need to keep your box, and if you unless wanted, you don't care. unless you don't care, and you, yeah, you want to keep them in order if you want to know exactly what you're eating, because the um, there's black writing on here, but it's the date or something right. or some code. Black, black code or something. It doesn't tell you what the candy bar is. Okay, so cookies and cream. It is. It says half a bar is 220 calories. There, there are two servings in each one of these. there for order that's a nice um that's a nice flavor it's it's not it's not the american white chocolate it's more of the uk version of white chocolate which means it's a little more milky creamy kind of flavor yes it it yes. almost like evaporated milk or something yes it doesn't i agree with you you get a lot of that that flavor if you know that evaporated milk flavor you get more of that, mm -hmm. and it's less sweet than an American yeah. white chocolate. It's good. I like it. I like the the sweetness level in there. It's pretty nice. It's just yes. not the same flavor as our white chocolate. I do not taste any of the cookies. No, you get the crunch. It's yes, bad. you get the crunchy, the texture, but you don't get any of the flavor. So, mm -hmm. for comparison, um, mm -hmm. I do not care for our Hershey's dark chocolate, milk chocolate, whatever. But I do like the Hershey's cookies and cream bar. I do like that bar. But in that bar, you taste the cookies. Yeah. So this one, you do not taste the cookies. So even though it has a great texture and everything, and it's a nice flavor, you do not get the flavor of the cookies in this one. This so one, this one didn't break. The next <clears throat> one is a salted praline bar. So this one has um, unsweetened chocolate it has whole milk it has hazelnuts yeah so this one is going to be hazelnut and it is 220 calories for half the bar so the same as the first one it immediately got salt mm -hmm. that is excellent i like that a lot mm-hmm that one's going to be hard to bake. And that chocolate's just as creamy and smooth on your tongue. Mm, that's really good. That. That's worth three or four dollars wow. right there. I know. <laughs> really. That that bar alone. Um, you would pay three or four dollars for that in a store. Oh, absolutely. The salt is on point. Mm -hmm. It. Um, the hazelnut, you get a little bit of that nutty flavor from the hazelnut. The the milk chocolate, though, um, oh, it's just is as creamy. so ultra creamy. Yeah. It, 
I mean, that's like deep, rich, luxurious chocolate. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, you usually don't. You know, a lot of the chocolates you buy, you don't get that really deep flavor out of milk that's chocolate. That's incredible. It's really yeah, good. excellent. The next one is going to be completely <coughs> different. So you want to go in order? Yeah, let's go in order. It is a raspberry. Looks hug. like a skunk. It is a raspberry and coconut. Look at the other side. Yeah, it's impressive with how much they put on there. Raspberry and coconut bar. Now just know it's not all through it. It's just on the back, like stuck on, but that hasn't made a difference so far. Uh, this one um, is unsweetened coconut, uh, sorry, unsweetened chocolate. They use freeze dried raspberry pieces. Which that may or may not be good. They also use a desiccated coconut, vanilla flavoring. Half a bar is 110 calories. So this one is, um, wow, this is a lot fewer calories. So the half a bar for the last one we had was, in the first one was 220 for half a bar. This is only 110 calories for half a bar. Let me give you plenty of everything. Now that one will, the coconut goes everywhere. I do like the texture. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a snappy chocolate. Mm -hmm. That's definitely dark. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That's a it's a pretty smooth dark chocolate. The only flavor I get is dark chocolate. Oh yeah, I don't taste anything. I didn't get Not any even the raspberry. No, I didn't get any raspberry. And Kevin gave me a piece full of coconut um, and raspberry. Um. I did not get any raspberry whatsoever and did not get any coconut whatsoever. That's typical with a lot of dark chocolates though, is they put stuff on it and you don't taste it. They it don't... overrides, the dark chocolate um, is so strong that yeah. it overrides everything else. I do have to say it's a really nice dark chocolate. I agree. It is bitter though. It but, is, but it but melts it's, so nice. And it, it, there's a, I love the crispy snap of mm -hmm. that dark chocolate. Yeah. It's a nice so, dark chocolate. Yes, it just depends if you like dark chocolate or not. That's a very nice bar. Um, uh, this one I'm sure we we'll both love. It's honeycomb. Oh, okay. Honeycomb bar. I thought maybe it was that biscuit one. No, not yet. Honeycomb bar. This one now we're back up on calories. Half a bar is 210 calories. This one it says sugar, unsweetened chocolate, glucose syrup, natural vanilla flavoring. <laughs> There's a lot of honey cam in there. Mm -hmm. After having that dark chocolate, this is the sweetness you need. Oh yeah, it's super sweet. Mm. I get a little bit of that honey cam flavor. It's not like really strong, mm -hmm. but it's there. Mm. It's nice. You know what though? I love a crunchy bar. A crunchy bar is basically, it's 90% honeycomb throughout the whole thing and then it's covered in chocolate. I would honestly rather have this that more has chocolate. more chocolate and the honeycomb just uh, sporadically placed in there than have a whole, I mean even though I love the crunchy bar, I just like, uh, I like more chocolate and that's such good quality mm, chocolate, really chocolate that I, I would rather have that and then the little sweet burst of the honeycomb in yeah. that, the little crunchy bits. I agree. It, it's kind of like a, a toffee bar on those, but except mm -hmm. the honeycomb's not toffee, but you know, it's kind of like that. It's it's delicious. Mm, now, it still good. doesn't be the salted praline for me. No, because the salt really was just the standout. But it's, it's delicious. Now, we're going to go back to the white. Uh, so, uh, it has like gold flakes on it. Oh, fancy. Blue, like gold. Creme brulee bar. Uh -huh. This has, um, lots of stuff. The, the words that are in this, <laughs> if I just started, um, this has two, first of all, this is more calories than all of them. This is the highest calorie bar here. It's 230 calories for half a bar. I guess gold is high calorie. Sugar, cocoa fat, dry whole milk, Demira sugar, which we've heard them say on the Bake Off, Demira sugar, wheat flour, 
Um, then there's all kinds of things. There's uh, anhydrous milk fat, milk sugar, milk proteins, salt, mica-based pearlescent pigments. <laughs> That's what makes it shiny. Yeah. Uh, just, I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff in here. Hmm. Wow. I love that flavor. That was very unexpected. Mm -hmm. It still has that underlying, like, milky white chocolate. But it's got other good stuff going on. And it's got these little sugary particles that you're, I mean, sugar granules that you're biting into, too. They're a little crunchy. -y. It's very sweet, but I'm, Over the top sweet. I'm getting something completely weird and random that I shouldn't be getting at all that's not even in here. But it's just, it's the way it's hitting me. Mint. Oh, no, I'm not getting mint. I know. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I do think if it's... If anything, I, it's kind of caramel kind of I know. It's, it's, uh, it's just, I think it's the combination of all those flavors and that very intense sweetness with that, their, their version of that white chocolate. Um, I love it. I, it's I think it, taste buds off. It's throwing the taste buds <laughs> off. It is. But no, I, I really it's do really like good. it. It's really good. It's very sweet. I think it's probably one of the sweetest ones here. I like it much better than the cookies and cream. <coughs> yeah, I do too. Uh, this one is the caramelized biscuit bar. Yeah. The, here's your biscuit bar. This one, we're back to It looks like it has just cookies stuck in the back. 220 calories for half. Caramelized cookie pieces. This oh. also has some cinnamon. Okay. Quite the biscuit. Yes, I'm sure. Their biscuits are just our cookies, by the way. Although they call some things cookies over there. I don't know. I don't understand why. Well, they... they it's like a crunchier version is a cookie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, that's got tons of those oh, wow. biscuits on it. Okay. It's a Biscoff. It's like a Biscoff. Cookie. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, it's and like the chocolate's still like over the top. Yes, you have the chocolate, but then it's like they took Biscoff cookies and crushed them up and spread yeah. them on top. Yeah, I could see that. It's really good. It's nice. I like it. Um, I still, still like, like the salted praline <laughs> bar better, but I do like that. I, think I that's actually delicious. like I like that one better than I do the uh, the honeycomb. Do you? Mm -hmm. I like I, that honeycomb. The, the flavor of those biscuits comes through a little bit more than the honeycomb does. We're going back to dark. You want to do the dark and the end on the milk? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is swirled with orange and it's got like little are those cranberries. Yes. This like. is the lowest calorie bar in here. Okay. Out of all eight, this is the lowest. It is the orange and cranberry bar, and it is only 100 calories for half a bar. Oh, so good. the other dark chocolate one, the raspberry and coconut, it was 110 for half a bar. This is only 100. So. Ooh. I mean, that's like orange oil big time. <laughs> orange and cranberry. Yes, you get orange oil, and you get dried cranberry. Orange oil tends to be a little stronger than just orange or orange peel or something like that. Do, wonder if you get a, it doesn't look like you get a cranberry in every bite no because like this piece there's none there's none but now i he made sure that i got one i'm gonna get a piece okay one. yeah some bites you don't get cranberry with you know how strong as that orange is though i really don't taste the cranberry mm -mm. the cranberry is unnecessary it has a little chewy texture to it. It does, but... And it might add a little tartness to it, but no, no. I love that so much. Um, I think what for that orange to be so strong smelling, I do get it 100%, but it's still kind of outshone by the by the dark chocolate a little bit. Oh, I love it. I, I think the it's The dark hard. chocolate really comes through. Um, 
See, now to me, the number one flavor is going to be that orange, the orange oil. They're, they're pretty balanced. But I do, yeah, that dark chocolate, it's delicious. It has the same snap as the mm -hmm. one we had before. But still melts really nice. The cranberry, I think, gives it a little texture. I didn't get the flavor of cranberry, but it, it might add something. Yeah, like I said, I didn't really taste the cranberry, mm -hmm. but it, it might add a little tartness to it. If you like a chocolate orange, the, a dark yeah. chocolate orange, you will love that. The cranberries for me really just added the, the chewy texture more than anything. Out of the two dark chocolate bars, right. that one would be my choice. This one looks like it has cocoa beans in it. Oh. Which I love. No. No? It's not. It's pumpkin spice. Oh, okay. They're pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'd rather have those than uh, coffee beans. Which is very interesting, pumpkin spice, because pumpkin spice is not something that is common at all in the UK. Um, they had to get on that bandwagon, though. Well, I mean, I don't blame them. I think all these Costa and all these uh, Greggs, all these coffee shops over there, they should all be doing pumpkin spice and, and have the little pumpkin um, desserts uh, in the fall. That way they, um, they can stand out uh, from the others. Uh, this one is 220 calories. It has a little bit of a sheen on it, like it has, gold. It does. It uh, has unsweetened chocolate, pumpkin seeds, ground cinnamon, natural vanilla, and those mica-based pearlescent pigments. Mm -hmm. That's the shininess. Yeah, it's a little gold of them. I like the spices. The pumpkin seeds honestly are more for just decorations and texture. They kind of get in the way of the chocolate a little bit for me mm -hmm. because they linger around a little bit when you're chewing them. Mm -hmm. I could get stuck in your teeth a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think they used the pumpkin seeds so that they could call it pumpkin spice because the spice is cinnamon. It's ground cinnamon. and That's pretty much what you get too. Chocolate and cinnamon. Yes, but I think I like the texture of the pumpkin mm -hmm. seeds. I think that was a, I, I like that decision. It just gets stuck in your teeth a little bit. Um, I do, I do have some pumpkin seeds in my, my teeth. Um, but um, I very much like the texture of those pumpkin seeds mm -hmm. with the chocolate. And the cinnamon isn't like, it's not like, oh, I'm a cinnamon bar. No, no. you really do still taste the, the chocolate itself. It's not like a Mexican chocolate where you get a lot of that cinnamon. It's not it's like a, that at all. It's no. a very light cinnamon. Very, and, very light But it cinnamon. doesn't have enough like nutmeg and, and ginger in no. it to be pumpkin spice. It's not pumpkin spice. I'm telling you, they just used that name because they put the pumpkin yeah. seeds. It's, it's not pumpkin good, though. So spice though because you need uh, cloves, um, nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon. You need all four of those to make pumpkin spice. But I, I like their attempt. Yeah, it it really makes good. me smile that they actually attempted the flavor. So I think that's nice. Um, my favorite, hands down, is going to be the salted praline bar. I mean, you just cannot beat that salt. Mine too. The, Pretty much any of the milk chocolate ones are really good though. Mm -hmm. um, I would probably, I'd probably pick the pumpkin seeds off and eat that chocolate bar. But the rest oh, of them, Oh, really? See, I really I like still that. like those. Um, the, the, and the dark chocolate and the white chocolate one, the creme brulee was really, really it good. It was too. really nice. Yeah. I, I like all of them. Yeah, there's none I didn't like. I mean, honestly, I didn't, there's nothing I just like. Ugh, I don't like that one at all. You are getting a heck of a deal. Um, Home Goods is going to be your best bet if you want to go uh, get somebody a food gift for Christmas. Home Goods is where you want to go because when you compare the prices at Home Goods, to what they have online, what they have on Amazon, anywhere. This is a deal. Mm -hmm. uh, 20 bucks for this box is a steal for this. Well, um, these kind of candy bars usually are, are four to five, I mean, right around least, $5. At usually. least $5. If you can just calculate it out as $3 a piece, that's 24 bucks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you are getting, yeah. Um, and it's that way on all of their chocolate yeah. gifts. You just need to watch uh, my advice. Watch where it's from on the back of the box. Yeah, the UK chocolate's usually pretty good. If it's from certain places, and I'm not going to call anybody out, but if it's from certain countries, I would avoid it. But uh, other the countries... The UK's really good. Belgium's really good. 
um, Italy, Italy those are usually pretty yeah, good. Oh, yeah. Any German, those German, are the safe yeah. ones oh, that are yeah. really good to try. Other places are kind of Australian if they have any Australian chocolates. Yeah, you don't um, see those very often. You don't often, see a lot, but yeah, um, yeah, because it's coming from a long way. But most of the other places just know that you may just or may be not careful. Get it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And if you've watched any of our reviews while when we review these big boxes like this, we'll tell you during that review no. I wish I had known that when I bought it. There were some that we saw in big boxes, and we I was tempted to get it, and it's like, oh, it's from that country. So if it's from that country, I, I just don't even, just don't even want to try it. So um, this is absolutely one to get. Or if, if you want to get it for yourself, if you want to break it up and put it in stocking stuffers, you won't have the names on them, but at least you could give them out. That's true. Um, and if you don't see this particular box, just remember House of Dorchester. Yeah. Really, got other really stuff nice. From them too. Yes, they do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a picture of each one of these for you at the end. And thanks for watching.